I don't even know what I'm doing. Chai! Bro. Uh, I feel like it's such a... I feel like a... What do you, what do you call those things? Um, what do you call those things? Bus wagon? Bam wagon. I feel like a bam wagon. Um, yeah! Chris Aquera, hey, I welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Chris. Um, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just doing a YouTube video. This is my first YouTube video. No, I never done one before. I just, I don't see people doing that. I'm just like, I can't, I can't do this one too. <laughs> this looks so rough. Sorry, I know my mom's bathroom. Um, okay, so I just want to do a video. It's gonna be basically talking about um, growing up as an African. So growing up as an African kid, um, personally, I never came in contact. Well, okay, I can say that I was bullied. Like, well, I was bullied because of the fact that I was African. But then also, I really didn't. There, like, there was no ever no. There was really no ever no trouble with me um, dealing with those situations. If you understand what I'm talking about, meaning if I heard, so, okay, like me growing up. I was really defiant. I was very. I mean, I, I, I was defiant, but it's at the same time I was timid. So like, but like if I hurt, I would be defiant about things concerning me. Like if you talk about like me or my family or anything like that, bro, we are scrapping. If I heard someone talking about me, right? What you don't even have to tell me. You don't even have to tell me what they were saying about me. Just the mere fact that you told me that somebody is talking about me, I'm going to fly. I, oh yeah, I want to fly. I am flying. That's instant. That's my my instinct is just to charge, confront, confront. But over time, I grew out of that. But yeah, so I never really came into contact with people like bullying me. Like if someone if someone was if I heard somebody that was, if I heard somebody was bullying me, it would just be like. No, if someone like attempted to bully me, I would actually just laugh in their face because I, at the time I was big, like I'm so big now, but at the time I was fat, I was like, it was like, I was like, I don't shave, like I had no, sh no structure, I was just there, flapping, just wiggling all over the place. I was just like, I was just looking at them and be like, you know, if I sit on you right now, you will die. Like, if I sit on you right now, you suffocate and die. Basically, that was just the whole thing. That was, that's basically how I was growing up as a kid. So I never really came in contact with, like, I never really came in contact with, um, like, bully about me being African. No. You say something about me being African, I will show you how I will do, how we do things back in, back in, back home. Boys like me in the village, we beat children, we beat people up with our pinkies. We beat, if I slap you with this finger, this finger, this finger, it carry weight. This finger carry weight. If I get my hand in your face, you correct slap. You go fear. When you see walking for road, you go fear, you go run, you go fall, you go trip. You don't enter trouble. Mm. I never really had trouble with people bullying me. I don't even know what bullying is, to be honest. If someone was bullying me, you are just inviting trouble on yourself. You are asking that you are signing. No, you are signing your death sentence. Signing your name. You are signing it. Yes, because I don't tolerate rubbish. Even since I was like, even now I don't tolerate rubbish, bro. Now that I fight, like now I've gone over, like I've matured. Like now, if somebody's talking about me, I'll just be like, it won't bother me as how it would have bothered me back then. Because back then I was gonna fire up, you no, know, go big Hulk. Boss up, boss up. Who are you talking about? So I heard you're talking about me. Let's discuss this. We can discuss this. Let's discuss it right now. I was, but like now, if I hear someone talking about me, I'm just like, sorry for you. Obviously, I'm doing something right for you to be talking about me. So, I can't continue. I'm not stopping you. I feel like, I feel like as of now, being African and um, being African flat out, 
being African is now the wave, which before, if we go back to 2011, 2010, being African made you, like, um, dirty or made you, um, like, you don't, you didn't know how to comprehend things, you don't know how to, uh, uh, communicate, your accent's funny, people, will, like, walk all over, walk all over you just based on the fact that you don't know how to communicate and stuff. And, um, I was actually born here, like, this accent is just from being surrounded from all these Africanese. Because growing up, I was, every, every African child, growing up, you're constantly around Africans. So, I don't know, me, I have a habit where if I'm around something for too long, I start adapt, like I start like growing into it. So like, I don't know, like I think the accent just like, like even sometimes like when I'm not even trying, like people in school would be like, why are you talking like that? I'm like, talking like what? They'd be like, you're talking, why are you saying, why are you saying with your accent? Like. I didn't even know I was singing with that, so I thought I was just speaking normal or Western, you know. Princess. <laughs> oh, um, that's all about this video. It's very short. This is just my startup video, you know, because I don't really post videos. I used to have a YouTube channel back in the day. That was sad. I deleted all those videos because. I'm not going to disgrace myself in this in this economy. Disgracing myself, am I sick? It's not happening. I had to delete those videos. Those videos were very. Um, let me just say they invited a lot of trouble. Watch out. Okay. Um. So this is my first YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. I don't even know you, but I love you. I don't love you. Right? I love you. Right? But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Oh, and if you ever watch my videos on Twitter, my Twitter is um, at Foreign Slum on Twitter. My Instagram, I don't even use it like that, but I just post the videos on it. It's Texas Aqua. It's um, TX Aqua. A K W E. Foreign, as in a foreign bee, a bad bee, a foreign bee, like foreign. <laughs> okay. It's slum, as in like slum lords, like some kings. <clears throat> I'm out of breath. Okay, fuck. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye.